Hello students, time for another gizmo. So from our Explore Learning website, you can either go right to your class to find the gizmo. We're doing the Free Fall Laboratory, or you can click on the Find Gizmos, type in the word free, and it's this one right here, Free Fall Laboratory, that comes up. And we're gonna launch the gizmo. And here it is. As always, we wanna go under the Lesson Info, and you want your student exploration sheet. You've got your PDF, Word, or even a Google Doc. Remember that the student exploration sheet, it gives you a little bit of warm-up information so that you can go through and practice using the gizmo before you collect your data. And then it has the different activities. So for this particular gizmo, we're going to be doing activity A, which is falling objects. And we're also going to be doing activity B, which is for terminal velocity. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. And here is our gizmo. So for this gizmo, you've got a number of different items that you can drop. And so we've got the shuttlecock, cotton ball, tennis ball, rock, and a pebble. You've also got the different heights that you can drop these from. I'm gonna put mine to 12 meters for this. And you can also choose whether you have no atmosphere in a vacuum, regular air, or something that's a little bit more dense. And all we're going to do is just drop these objects you'll notice that it will fall all the way to the ground. And we can also look over here on the graph to show the different forces that are acting on our objects. You can customize it. Instead of using the common objects, you can go to manual settings and you can change all these different parameters to make whatever object that you like. You can also check this over here to make it bounce when it hits the bottom. I'm just going to use the common objects for this. We'll just use regular air for this one. We've got the shuttlecock that's here. We hit the play button, and down it goes. We have all our data in the table. You can notice that things are happening to these numbers. There's also a bar chart, and I also like the graph over here. So the graph starts with the height versus time, but you can also put in velocity versus time and acceleration versus time. I'm gonna reset. I'll go back to the description. You can also put the forces that are acting on the object that's dropped. You've got gravity, air drag, a buoyancy force, and then the net force, the total force. So for this one, I'll let it go down again. And you can see on the left side over here how the forces adjust. The graph will be the same as we had before. We'll get rid of these for the time being. Now, as this one last example that I'm going to do, I'm gonna change the atmosphere so it's a dense air and we'll hit play. And we notice that this time it's a little bit different. If we go to the table, take note of the acceleration. At some point it goes away and it stays at zero. And we can also see that on our graph. I'll put in the velocity. You can see something happens here, it goes horizontal. And if we do the same thing for the acceleration, we get this nice shape over here also goes to horizontal. So that does mean something. And then you can reset it. We'll go back to the description. So for this particular one, in activity A, you're gonna look at different factors that affect how different objects fall. Again, you can pick the common objects or you can have a customized object. And you're going to making your own experiment using activity A. In activity B, we're looking at terminal velocity. And I just gave you some good hints as to what that is. And again, you're gonna compare how certain objects, either the common objects or your custom ones that you make over here, uh, reach terminal velocity. So there you go. That is the Free Fall Laboratory Gizmo. And I will see you in class.